What is going on guys? It is Jamie over at 513 Fab. I wanted to do a review on the TIG Aesthetics Trailing Shield uh, that was just released a couple days ago. Uh, I seen this thing at PRI last year and I knew as soon as he released that I had to have one. So I went and picked one up on the, the day he dropped them and they sold out that same day. So it was awesome to see that everybody you know, was wanting one. Uh, I do know that he should have some more up on the website. I'm going to have links in the description for everything so you can check it out, see if uh, you know it'll fit your needs and what you do in your shop. But jumping right into it, so this is the same style silicone that he uses on his purge plugs. Um, I know this stuff is good up to 100 degrees, I believe. Uh, his purge plugs, I believe, are a little bit more, but same, you know, same kind of silicone. Uh, you know, it's not going to melt or anything. Has this little metal piece back here that keeps it from dragging on the material. So that's a nice little touch that they added. Uh, key, and it's kind of indented so it'll go over your weld, um, which is nice. Has the same style mesh that they use inside there for the diffuser. And it also has their shower head, their titanium shower heads inside. So this is the inside piece. Uh, you can get these for your purge plugs as well uh, if you have his purge plugs uh, which they make a huge difference on um, you know how the uh, gas is dispersed inside. I love them. Uh, I noticed an immediate difference when I started using them so that was a big plus. Um, it has this titanium uh, collar here or holder as you could say for your gas line. Uh, I am going to get the actual six millimeter hose that is that this is designed for. Uh, I didn't pick anything up. I thought I had some here, uh, so I just you know rigged something up. But this piece just fits onto the back of your your torch, holds the hose. And one thing I talked to him about or Brad is the main reason this is here is to keep this from moving around. So when it's tightened down and you have it in place, it's not gonna go anywhere. You tighten that down and then you just line it up, make sure everything's in line and you're good to go. It's not gonna move around, it's, it's in there solid. So that's a nice touch that they did. Um, and it fits any one inch number 16 cup. This is a Furic cup, so the BBW. It'll fit any, even the uh, Pyrex ones, the glass ones, it'll fit those as well. So you don't have to worry about that if that's the kind you use. I use both of them. This is just the one I happen to be using right now. But this thing has been amazing. I, I love every second of using it. It's easy to use, it's not hard. Once you get it set up, you know, you just you just run. If you do a lot of production stuff, definitely recommend this if you do a lot of titanium i definitely recommend this um, speaking of titanium so don't mind all the testing but you can see i mean it, it does its job very well uh don't go by you can't really go by all this uh, i will say that so one thing i do know after doing this is you have to run a dual regulator I don't have a dual regulator. I'll it actually be here tomorrow. But I told Brad when I got this, I was like, hey, is there a way that we could do um, like a Y valve, like an adjustable Y valve? And he said that they've done testing with T's and it wasn't, it didn't work as well as they would, you know, was hoping. So they don't recommend that. He told me, he was like, give the Y a shot, see what we'd come up with. So I did. And it, it works, but it doesn't. So... I want to say this one right here, this one, there's a couple of them in here that, you know, these were all done with it, but as you can see, what happens is, let me find a good one here. Okay, so here's a good one. So it starts out good, but this is your gas coming out of your cup. As soon as you get back here, that's the gas coming out of the shield. Same with here. It starts out really good. And once the gas dies off in the shield or in the you know trailing cup or the trailing shield, my bad, you can see it, uh, you know, kind of tapers off and, and turns colors. 
Same with most of these, you get that coloration right here. Here's another good example. You know, it starts out good at the cup and then the gas dies off. Same with these, these are stainless. This one, I, I mean, it was, uh, you know, trying to even dial it in. Here's a good example, dies off, dies off. Uh, so what's happening is your trailing shield needs 15 to 20 CFH. Your cup needs, I run between 35 and 40. Uh, so what's happening is, is you're setting your flow meter at, you know, 50 55 uh, just to kind of compensate for both sides taking up you know gas well what happens is when your welder kicks on all of your gas is going through your cup so it's not making it to the shield because of the path of least resistance and after talking with Brad about that he was like that you know that was kind of the worry that that was going to happen um, I did get some good results uh, like this one you know I, I got a very good result out of that this was just dialing it in. So, I mean, it, it it's kind of hit or miss is what I've seen. And like, a, like with the titanium, like this one, you know, it starts out a little rough, but then it, you know, kind of towards the end there, it, get, there it dies off again. So, I mean, it, it, it's hit or miss. It's not a perfect science. So I recommend a dual regulator. Um, I told him, I was like, you know, dual regulator is the way to go. It seems like. You can get them fairly cheap. Uh, I think I want to say I paid a hundred bucks for the one I'm getting, and you can probably find them cheaper um, if you want a you know high quality one. Yeah, they're 150, 200 bucks. But for you know for what we're doing here, I don't see it being as big of an issue. Um, right now, the plan is is once the dual regulator gets here, I'm going to make a valve setup that when you press the pedal. It kicks, you know, the valve on for the shield and for your welder. Um, so it'll all be ran off the same foot pedal. <clears throat> if you have like a Miller uh, or I think Everlast, AHP, um, I don't know about Fronius. Uh, there's a bunch of different welders out there and they all use different plugs for your, your foot control. So this might be something that you need to kind of experiment with and figure out. I'm more than happy to help. I'm working with an AHP welder, uh, so I know that the Everlast and uh, there's another one I can't think of the name, but they they use the same seven pin aviation style plug, so those should be fairly easy to to you know figure out. But my plan is is to have so you'll have your gas to your welder from one reg or from one flow gauge flow meter, and then your other one will go to your trailing shield. And, you know, you can set both of them independent of each other. It's off one bottle. And when you click your pedal, it will open up both of these at the same time. And since I run a one-second um, post-flow, especially running titanium, it gives that gas time to start flowing through the uh, this trailing shield. So that's another video. I will be releasing that one here as soon as everything gets here and I kind of figure out dial-in settings and all that but if you already have all this and or if you already have a dual regulator uh, you can use this it's not going to be an issue it's going to work perfectly uh, i've had really good results out of stuff that i have worked or got to work so i do know this thing does its job and it does it very very well uh, i want to make it to where you don't have to shut your valve off every time you're done so if you run a you know a regulator or a dual regulator or you run a no corners cut fab like distribution block or panel, uh, what's going to happen is, is every time you're done welding and you're not jumping into another weld immediately, you need to turn your you know you need to turn that gas off because it's going to just keep continuously flowing. To me, that's just another step that I don't want to have to remember. Uh, I have a hard enough time remembering to turn my purge gas off without leaving myself a note. So I know everybody's done it. You can't say you haven't. Everybody's left some gas on at some point in their welding career. So, but other than that, this thing has been amazing. Uh, I'm going to keep working with it, keep playing with it, talking to Brad about, you know, things we can do. And, uh, you know, that'll be it for this one. And then I'll post part two of this, um, 
as soon as I get everything done. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to reach out. You can either reach out to Brad or myself. I'll do my best to answer it.